1, 2, 3D Basics Navigation Let's start by learning to navigate. On the right hand side is the Toolkits panel and Parts bin. Primitives is the active toolkit, but there are others like hardware, etc. Let's start by dragging a cube onto the work plane. To navigate in 1, 2, 3D, you can use the view cube to switch to various views. You can orbit with your right mouse button, you can zoom with your scroll button, and pan by holding the scroll wheel. If you're not using a three button mouse, you can also use the orbit, zoom, and pan tools in the mini navigation bar on the right. Zoom to fit is useful and will zoom to include all the objects on the work plane. The look at tool orients the view to any face you choose. In the grid behavior button, select grid settings. Millimeters is a good unit setting for most 3D printers. You can also set up the grid size to reflect the platform of your 3D printer. If your printer isn't on the list, you can add a custom grid size. You can also change whether the origin is in the center or bottom left position. I prefer the center. You can also toggle between seeing materials, outlines, or both at the same time. 1-2-3-D automatically starts in a perspective view which feels more like real life, with objects receding to a vanishing point. There isn't a menu option, but you can change to orthographic mode by hitting the I key. I have a strong preference for modeling in orthographic mode, especially if I'm checking the alignment of objects. If I drag a sphere on top of my cube and switch to a side view, it's tough to tell. Is that sphere exactly lined up on top? Notice that you can see the hidden lines of the cube in perspective if you mouse over the shape. If I use the I key to switch to the orthographic mode, it's easier to see the precise relationship. Toggle back and forth as it suits you.